Hello, my name is Steve Bowler, and in this video we're going to be taking a look at Border Gateway Protocol. Specifically within BGP, we're going to be taking a look at troubleshooting BGP. So in this lab, what we have is three routers. Router 1, which is in Autonomous System 100. We have Router 2, which is in Autonomous System 230. And then we also have Router 3, which is in Autonomous System 230 as well. The connection between Router 2 and 3 is an internal BGP connection. And then we also have a connection from R2 to R1, which is an external BGP connection. The IP addressing and initial routing configurations has already been done for us. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull up a document which is going to give us a couple of tickets in which we have to work through to fix the BGP configuration within the tasks that they have provided us to do. So if we take a look at BGP Troubleshooting Lab 2, our first task is saying that R2 and R3 are unable to form an IBGP neighbor relationship. Configure the network so that R2 and R3 form an IBGP neighbor relationship. And then it specifically says, do not remove any configuration on either router to restore connectivity. So the first thing we want to do is, again, from a troubleshooting perspective, the first thing which is always good to do is to make sure that we have reachability between the routers. So if we go and look at our diagram, router 2 and router 3 are connected via the 192.168.23 network. So let's go on to router 2 first and if we do the command show IP interface brief that's going to give us good layer 1, 2, and 3 information. It's going to give us our layer 1 status which is up, our line protocol or layer 2 status which is also up, and it also shows us that we have an IP address on the interface connecting router 2 to router 3 which is faster than at 00 which has an IP address of 192.168.23.2 so that's a good command to check layer 1, 2, and initial layer 3 configuration. It is also important to point out between these routers we have